all right so now let's look at the fourth point it says lot of heat is usually given off or absorbed during a chemical change now when magnesium burns in air we just saw that magnesium burning in air here so when magnesium burns in air it produces large amount of heat and light energy okay so this is a combination reaction right that means it it is combining with oxygen magnesium burning in air meaning it is combining with oxygen o2 it it is combining with oxygen and it produces large amount of heat and light energy so what happens when i burn magnesium i'll see that you know there's there's a white spark i'll see that white spark and white flame and i'll see a lot of light also so uh, this light and heat is a by product whenever i burn magnesium now mercuric oxide which is red in color remember we did this mercuric oxide yeah yeah mercuric oxide red in color um upon strong heating forms new substances like mercury and oxygen gas yes. so mercuric oxide decomposes so when i heat it it decomposes what is the meaning of decompose so magnesium combines with air to form magnesium oxide whereas decompose means to break down to separate okay it means to break down into different parts so decompose means to break down so when i say mercuric oxide decomposes meaning it separates into mercury and oxygen and when it separate it when it separates it absorbs a large amount of heat energy that means in order for me to separate this i have to provide it a lot of heat only then it will separate into mercury and oxygen similarly even sugar decomposes into charcoal and steam only when i provide it a lot of heat energy so sugar decomposes to charcoal and steam by absorbing large amounts of heat energy is this clear to everybody so whenever there is a decomposition so if you notice that in both these cases whenever there is decompose decomposition i am i mean the that decomposition process absorbs a lo lot of heat energy all right so now let's take a look at magnesium magnesium when it burns in air that means magnesium when it burns in air it gives me magnesium oxide plus a lot of heat and light okay so whenever i burn magnesium in air it releases a lot of heat and it releases a lot of high, uh, light and whenever a chemical reaction releases a lot of heat or any chemical reaction that releases heat it is called an exothermic reaction so remember any chemical reaction which releases heat is an exothermic reaction so how will you remember this exo meaning to um, to give out like expel exo means to give out expel for example if i say you are expelled from the school what does that mean yes you are out of the school get out of the school you are expelled from the class get out of the class that's what that means okay so that is how you are going to remember this so expel or ex means to release to get out so whenever magnesium combines with oxygen it forms magnesium oxide okay and a lot of heat is released so in any chemical reaction whenever heat is released it is called an exothermic reaction so here i have mercuric oxide remember i told you mercuric oxide in this example mercuric oxide is red in color and when i heat it it turns black when i heat it even more fumes are released yes so now let's go back here so mercuric oxide when i heat it up what happens it breaks down it breaks down into mercury and oxygen now this process of breaking down is called decomposition is called so process of breaking down is called decomposition and when i have to use it to explain it for example i'll say mercuric oxide decompose it decomposes into mercury and oxygen okay and when this reaction takes place when h g 2 o breaks down into hg plus o2 
or oxygen this is oxygen so when it breaks down into mercury and oxygen a lot of heat is absorbed that means i have to give it heat okay so I, if i have to give it heat that means heat is absorbed in this reaction so a lot of heat is absorbed and um, so i'll say instead of plus i will just say minus heat okay so heat is absorbed so such reactions are called endothermic reaction so whenever heat is absorbed it is called as an endothermic reaction similarly sugar decomposes into charcoal and steam and when it does that it absorbs a lot of heat energy and even that is an endothermic reaction so wherever heat energy is absorbed it is endothermic wherever heat energy is produced or released it is exothermic 